King of Louisville. Anything you want. Anything I want. We're just going to have a big party. It's going to be bigger than the Derby, and we're just going to have a big party. Everybody's going to celebrate, hopefully, us winning the double. You've heard it here first. <laughs> King of the Derby. You won win the championship last year, but in, in a sense, um, you feel like with the way that this team is right now that, that, that there's more. I mean, you feel like there's another deep tournament run in this team? Potentially. I mean, that's what we're playing for. That's obviously what we want. Um, you know, we're very talented. And we lose a lot from last year, but we bring in a lot uh, this year. And, you know, I think we take it one day at a time and just try to get better every day. We can be pretty good. Yeah. How do you feel physically? I mean, the shoulder was just kind of an issue. Is that, is that past you now? Um, yeah, shoulders are behind me. Uh, I feel great. I've got two scars to remember them, but I feel great. And uh, yeah, I feel 100%. Coach knows how long of a summer I had. Uh, and so he's going to give me a little break early. Uh, he knows how long season can be. So uh, you know, I'm just going to take my time. And, and you know, I'm in shape. I'm working out. I'm shooting, running, everything. So just get ready to go. Yeah, what, where is your game different now? I mean, the, the, the summer experience, uh, how much How much does that help you? I mean, what, what things do you feel like you can do different now? Just being able to play all summer, I feel like I'm more well-rounded. You know, the last couple of summers I've had shoulder injuries and I've had surgery, so I haven't been able to do anything. Uh, especially being able to lift and, and be you know, strong going into the season. I didn't lift very much at all last year because of my shoulder injury. So uh, being able to have you know, the whole summer to really work out and really work on my game, I think it's going to be tremendous for me. I think last year at the Final Four, the last time that most people here saw you play, you had a pretty big game. You know, when you're a little kid, do you think something like that's going to happen someday? Uh, you hope. Sitting kinda, out there in the backyard shooting baskets. That's how it is. I mean, that's really it. You dream about it. You hope for something like that to happen. Uh, but you don't, you know, I mean, you don't really expect it to happen. Uh, you know, I just tried to contribute. And, and, you know, the way I could contribute that day was hitting some open shots. When, when, you, when, you, when did you know you were going to keep it? Hit the second one, I felt pretty good, and then I shot the third one. It was pretty deep, and I felt felt great after that. So. Did you notice them backing off of you on that third one? Uh, well, they kind of did a switch, and then they both backed off. Peyton kind of blocked them off a little bit, so that worked out. Where is this team different this year? I mean, what what kind of things do you see coming through that can? I mean, the different strengths or whatever right. coming through. So far? Uh, I think last year having that seven footer in the middle to block shots, um, you know, makes any team different when you don't have a guy like Courtney. Uh, but we have a lot of different players down there. You know, Montrez and Shane, Steven, uh, Mango. You know, they're just different guys, different different personnel. So I think that's where we're going to change the most. Uh, but we can be just as good. Is Montrez? I mean, his play does it kind of scare you? I mean, just how motivates how you. Is. Yeah, motivates you. I like that playing that hard. You know, you don't want to let him down. You don't want to not play as hard as he does. Yeah.